भुना मसाला सैंडविच हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू संजीव कपूर खजाना दिस इज सौरभ एंड आई एम हेयर टू शेयर अ न्यू रेसिपी विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सिंपल वेजिटेरियन कुकिंग सीरीज एंड आई एम श्योर इवन अ नॉन वेजिटेरियन वुड एंजॉय कुकिंग एंड रिलिशिंग इट सो लेट्स क्विकली स्टार्ट विद भुना मसाला सैंडविच बट बिफोर दैट लेट्स क्विकली नोट डाउन द इंग्रीडियंट्स ब्रेड स्लाइसिस पटेटो इज बॉइल्ड एंड मैश्ड कॉलीफ्लावर फ्लोर इट्स ब्लांच्ड कैरेट ब्लांच्ड एंड चॉप्ड प्रोसेस चीज ग्रेटेड फ्रेंच बीन्स चॉप्ड एंड ब्लांच्ड रेडीमेड अनियन टोमेटो मसाला बटर सॉल्ट ऑयल so these were some very basic ingredients uh, let's talk about the bhuna masala or the onion tomato masala now this is uh, very easily available in any supermarket you would get it in sachets or packets you can store them or refrigerate them and use it whenever required so we are going to use this as our main ingredient and along with this all other vegetables that we have over here so let's quickly start so i would switch on the gas and add some oil a very little oil and there is a reason to it because as you notice in the bhuna masala there is already a lot of oil in it because it is made with oil onion tomatoes and other spices so you have a lot of oil in this which can be used so a very little bit of oil or if you think you can avoid the oil you can do it now the oil is heated let's add the onion tomato masala or bhuna masala into it now further what we have to do is just heat up the bhuna masala or the onion tomato masala a little bit and then add the rest of the ingredients because the thing is that this is already cooked and out of the packet so you just need to heat it up and start cooking this is the beauty of cooking with ready made bhuna masala now the bhuna masala is heated let's add the rest of the ingredients cauliflower florets these are blanched cauliflower florets carrot again chopped and blanched french beans again chopped and blanched and boiled and mashed potatoes we would also add some salt into it now make sure that you add an adequate amount of salt because the bhuna masala already contains some salt as well so a little bit of salt and now let's mix this nicely now over here what i am doing is while mixing this i am mashing the entire thing nicely with the back of the spoon like this now by this what would happen is we would get a nice coarse paste of the stuffing for our sandwich this is what we are preparing which is made with bhuna masala as a base and all other vegetables so this is nicely heated up and this is ready as you can see it's formed a mash so what we would do is we would just switch off the gas and let it be there meanwhile we'll take some bread slices over here but before that we would switch on the griller so okay this is done now on these bread slices we would apply butter just plain butter a little bit of butter we would apply it on these bread slices similarly on the other bread slice as well now on these slices we would place the stuffing on the stuffing we would add some cheese i have taken processed cheese over here a little bit of chaat masala sprinkled on the top to get that extra tinge and now what we would do is we would cover this with another slice and now we would place this prepared sandwich on a griller a hot griller so what we would do is we would place this like this on it but before that we would just apply a little bit of butter on the griller so that the sandwich is nice and evenly brown on the bottom and similarly we'll apply a little bit of butter on the top as well like this and then we would grill it so this would take not more than 2 to 3 minutes to grill and our sandwich would be nice and crisp similarly i'll assemble some more sandwiches and grill them so let's uh, check the sandwiches so these sandwiches are nice and crisp grilled on the outside as you can see so uh, they are ready now let's remove them and now we would quickly cut them and serve it hot a platter like this so here it is bhuna masala sandwich instantly made and instantly served 